Good morning. So, come down this morning, um, hopefully to try and find the green woodpecker. Uh, it's been seen out here feeding on the anthills um, quite a lot recently. Um, some good light this morning, so it's a nice bright morning. The sun's coming up over that side, so if, if the woodpecker's down this way, that'll give us some nice light on the woodpecker. Um, so hopefully it's going to turn up. Um, can't guarantee anything with these things, obviously. So uh, we just have to wait and see what happens and um, yeah, see if our luck's in. Lovely surroundings, in nice quiet water, sheltered from the wind. I'm just going to enter into those nice golden coloured reeds as the sun comes up to the right of me. Got a few young swans here just uh, Looking good in the uh, as the sunlight as the as the morning sunlight starts to come up. Surrounded by a, a group of ducks. So we're just watching on these uh, these anthills. You can see if we look just down here, um, there's quite a lot of anthills around this area. Um, so hopefully, you know, if the green woodpecker lands in that sort of area, so it's going to have some good light on it. Um, and yeah, and, and we should get some good shots. I think um, we just need it to come and say hello, really. You know, it really doesn't get much more beautiful than that. I mean, look at that scene out there. Got these reeds across the front. Beautiful blue sky in the background with some nice little clouds floating by. Absolutely stunning. And we've got all this wildlife just sitting on the lake as well. What better place could you spend the morning for a few hours? The more hens with the sort of red beak. Just in quite a nice light there at the moment, so that's quite nice. Well, it's not looking great for the woodpecker this morning. Um, probably spent a couple of hours here now and it doesn't want to show, um, which is unusual because it's normally, normally at least you see a few flying by if nothing else, so, um, so yeah, so we might have drawn a blank with that one today, but uh, we'll try again, another day, it's a little bit of time yet so it might turn up, uh, you just don't know really, just last, last minute, might just show its face. So as you've seen for the early part of this video, um, the green wind picker didn't show us uh, show for us yesterday. Um, so I thought I'd come down and have another go. 
of a second day. Unfortunately, unlike yesterday, the light's pretty poor this morning. It's been raining in the night. Uh, it's pretty drizzly at the moment. Um, the only good thing is the winds drop quite a bit, so the water's quite still, so that's quite nice. Uh, but we're just going to see if we can um, see the woodpeckers today. Um, and uh, if not, we might have to come back another day and just um, just when the light's a bit better. Um, but we've still got things around us. We've got a, a magpie in the grass over there. We've got a, a wood pigeon, uh, a moorhen. Um, uh, we've got a couple of teal over there by the looks of it and then out on the lake we've got some more ducks and uh, some swans as well. Um, not as much around as there was yesterday um, but hopefully it'll liven up and you know hopefully it might brighten up as well so if it brightens up it'll be a lot better um, but at the moment say it's, it's pretty dull at the moment so we'll just have to wait and see what happens. So it's quite a nice still day today, so, so the water looks quite nice, might get some nice reflections. Just watching this cormorant fishing at the moment. It died down for quite a long time. This one keeps popping up in the same place. Or well, very close anyway. There he goes again. It's just a bit further over. A little bit too far away from us, really, to get any decent, uh, decent images. Just got a little coot outside the hide here. Just feeding on whatever it can find in the water. And there he goes, just gone down. Here are a lot of gulls around. The gulls are starting to, uh, this time of year, the gulls start to get quite busy. Um, so we're actually, uh, you can probably hear in the background a lot of gulls out there getting quite noisy um, as it starts to get, you know, as it will get towards the spring and they'll start to get to the breeding season. A little widgeon just coming out of the water. There's a couple of already on the bank to the left of them, so uh, coming out to graze just to join them.
which you know are quite smart birds. The males have got that lovely um, sort of peachy orangey f uh, stripe across the top of the head. Um, females are a little more, bit more dull than the males. So even though the light's not as good today, uh, it's actually quite a flat light, which sometimes is not too bad because um, you, know, you don't want too, man too much brightness in there because uh, you're going to get a lot of um, dark and light patches, which are very difficult to control. But the actual ant hills that you can see just sort of down here are actually quite nicely, um, nicely lit. You know, quite a flat light, as I say. Um, but uh, no real harsh shadows or anything. So, uh, so if we can get the woodpecker on there, um, that would actually be quite nice. But as of yet, still no sign of it. We've got a whole group of uh, widgeon, male and female mix, just, uh, just grazing on the bank here. Look, healthy snack for me, that's pretty good. That's unusual. Got a, a storm approach in the UK this weekend, Storm Kyra, they've named it. Um, you can see out here, I mean, it's beautiful. It's absolutely so peaceful, tranquil, quiet. But they are saying this is the, the calm before the storm. You know, there's a, a deep depression approaching the UK across the Atlantic. I think it's wreaked a bit of havoc in the in the states um, with floods um, and, and damage from the strong winds, um, and we're expecting you know, something like 60 to 80 mile an hour winds, you know, along the coast, and even 60 mile an hour inland um, in the UK, which is which is fairly unusual. So, uh, so we're going to be batting down the hatches tomorrow. I think I don't think we're going to be going anywhere. Um, and I think uh, we're just going to make the most of this beautiful quiet. Um, atmosphere you know before it hits us really um, and uh, you know, should come out the other side with a bit of luck Well, sorry guys, it looks like we've drawn a complete blank with the, uh, the green woodpecker. Um, uh, talking to one of the guys in the hide and he saw it earlier in the week, uh, exactly where I was looking for it, but um, looks like today, again, it wasn't gonna show for us, so, but nothing we can do about that really. So hopefully there's a, a few nice photos in the video. Um, uh, so unfortunately it was at that stage, uh, my video camera decided to uh, stopped working on me uh, so I couldn't quite finish the video uh, on location um, but uh, you know I'm not going to keep chasing this uh, the green woodpecker around I think yeah if I f if I find one then I might post some video um, at some stage but I'm not going to keep boring you trying to catch the same thing when it doesn't seem to want to show for me at the moment um, but uh, but yeah I've probably got a few pictures I can just um, um, just add to the end of this video so you can have a look at uh, you know what one does look like, um, but obviously not from those few days we were filming. And really it just remains for me to say, uh, if you like the video, um, please click a like on the thumbs up below. And um, you know, if you're new around here, it'd be great to have you on board. So please don't forget to subscribe. And I will uh, hopefully bring you some new videos soon. So thanks for watching and bye for now.